Today's Chili Chic episode is the Persian sunset at Chanker. Chanker is a, a farm that is essentially been built by uh, you know a few people together. It's a community place where there is organic uh, vegetables being grown. There are artists uh, who can perform on a stage here. And today, the Chili Chic Diaries is cooking here. So Danya uh, and I uh, are partners. And Danya had her restaurant in Lonavla called the Rainmaker Shack for many years. And the Chili Chic Diaries is something that uh, I created many years ago in New York. And it's come together here in Chankade and Chankade by the way is the crescent moon uh, and the moon hopefully uh, may or may not shine on us today but you know nonetheless some new uh, food is we're going to do a uh, free range chicken uh, with orange and, and, and pepper and roasted vegetables a very simple meal but done in one of the most beautiful spaces ever and today's uh, evening again is called the Persian sunset you're going to hear music you're going to hear children you're going to see our friends and join us for dinner this is the Chili Chic Diaries episode 2 
orange chicken is something that they used to cook in China a lot. Okay, which they still do. Okay, the first time, quite frankly, I had something called orange chicken in New York, but this is my version of orange chicken. Which is well, it's our version of the orange chicken. <laughs> well, which I cooked for you to begin with. Isn't that the point? It was my version of orange chicken, which you, uh, <laughs> which you tasted. Okay, then it became our orange chicken. I think. <laughs> I mean, that's a fact. That's a 100% fact. Okay. And I'm, you know, I, every time I cook this, I, every time I make it, 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 every time I make it, it turns out differently, by the way. So the last time I didn't grate the rind on the orange into the chicken. This time I am. And I can smell the orange. I mean, really, it smells so good. So I'm making some roasted pork choy, asparagus, baby carrots, bacon with some chili over it and baby potatoes over it and some corn. So there's now crushed black pepper that was roasted and there's black pepper sauce and um, you know the oranges uh, were completely uh, completely squeezed over it because that is what should add full on flavor.
like slow cooking right now. So I'm making pok choy and asparagus, baby carrots, uh, some smoked bacon. This, um, you know, I don't even know what this is made of, but I freaking love it. Yeah, I think it's cast iron. But it's just amazing to me. I love cooking on this thing. Does it give a different flavor to For it? For me, it does. Plus, I just love cooking on it. I mean, it's just so cool. It's, it's just, so it's liberating, cool. right? It's, it's cool. And you can, I, um, I told, um, I told Jackie one day. I said, I, if some, if you just made one, like one big thing like this for me, I don't need anything else in my house. I don't need a gas stove. I can cook anything on this. You can cook anything on this, on, on this thing. You don't need a gas stove. Well, I don't think anything. How about rice? Anything. I could cook rice on the sauce if you want. Okay. I can because I put a uh, put a pan on it. How about pizza? Water will boil. Pizza easy. Pizza <laughs> easy. easy. Okay. Pizza easy. Okay. But That's this brighter. kind of stuff for me is like I can see how long the chicken will take. I don't know, right? This is only the second time I've cooked on this, but I freaking love it. Last time I cooked uh, on a bonfire in front of this house. And this chicken I have not cooked like this before. But they told me, um, you know, pre-range chicken takes longer than processed chicken. But pre-range chicken is always what I will use because, I don't know, it's just different and better. Plus, you know, circle of life and everything. I'd rather, uh, you know, a free chicken. I mean, a chicken's free to eat me, a tiger's free to eat me, so I can eat a chicken also. It works like that. Fair enough. But anyway, the, the, on this farm, uh, this farm is incredible and this thing, this is one of my absolute favorite things to cook. I'm telling you, anybody wants to give me a gift, you can give me a gift of this. Honestly, the car ride, because I was thinking, what, what to call this evening, what to call this evening. And when I heard your music, and literally walking down there, I thought, this is definitely Persian Sunset. And you didn't know I was cooking orange chicken also. Mm -hmm. That is the right. thing. So Persian Sunset with that music and everything is absolutely 100% perfect. Came together really well. Uh, in my view, for sure. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Now, I'm not the best person at carving this chicken, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I can make a knife and But still you should do it. You made the chicken, you carved the chicken. Let me find a big knife and <coughs> here in a second. <laughs> You know, around here, so music can keep playing. Something was a little spicy down there. I uh, oh, I hit to the chicken with that naga yeah, yeah. sauce. It hit me at the It was sauce though, it's not the chili. Mm -hmm. Coming, I was thinking in the car, what shall we call this evening? And I only came up with that thing after we came here. 
and I heard you play. Right? <laughs> so I want to know. Yeah, so and I want to know. Persians in the house. And Persians, <laughs> not so the Persians, and the music. Okay. Yeah. The music. So I want to know how, how three of you uh, started playing together because it seems like you've been playing together for a very long time. So how, how did this happen? See, individually as musicians, we have been playing music for a while. And uh, once you do that, it's easier to put together projects and uh, start collaborating. We have been playing music for a couple of months now. That too. Yeah, but that's the thing. So I was asking, uh, how long have you known each other, three of you? Yeah, that's a, that's about two or three months we know each other. Two or three months. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It sounds like you've been playing music together for 20 right. years. It, it, see, music also <laughs> okay. is... Okay. <laughs> that is my thing. After all, it's human communication. Sometimes you meet a person just like yourself, so friendly and so open that you feel like you know them for years, you know? Yeah. Sometimes also and music is very powerful that way. Yeah, it's very powerful the same way. You sit with musicians and sometimes you feel like you can yeah. you've been already playing with them for a while. So it happens that way. And we just go with the flow. I think that's incredible. Because I, um, I only when I heard, I first heard you playing the drum, okay? And I've been listening to, I've been listening to, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Santana had it's one. Uh, uh, that yeah, smoke flavor is coming into yeah. your, we'll onto the vegetables, the, right? A little bit. So sacrifice. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. I've been listening Especially to that the more than I ever have been in a very long time. That and the drum blended with the vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of have this. In 1969, it was the August. Just played something called Soul Sacrifice, which is only drums. 